In this episode, I unveil some surprises, visit a stunning farm by the Scottish coast, talk about workplace dynamics, and we even trim some feet. This is the Hoof GP. Morning! It is all systems go today. And whoever got me this cup, legend. Morning team. Good morning, Graham. Morning, Graham. Well, she said it now, so she's gonna be on camera. Oh, yeah. Hey, what? It's not that, can't be that naked. I've got nothing on. Open it up. I've actually got nothing on. Anyway, we have got a lot going on. We've got a massive surprise that I've been keeping secret. I'll let you in on it right now a little bit, but there's gonna be a big reveal. We've been using Craigie Boy's pickup the whole of last week because my pickup has been away getting some special stuff done to it. And we are gonna reveal that in this video. We are going to this little farm down here, which is a beautiful little farm, right on the southwest coast of Scotland. And we're gonna trim a few cows down there. And also, KVK sent me a surprise, and I genuinely have no idea what it is. So we're gonna be opening that. This is the Hoof GP, mate. This is the Hoof GP, make sure, shut up! No. This is the Hoof GP. Make sure you subscribed and like this video. If you pair, just go outside, hook up the pickup, drive it out, and I'll just do it outside for the big reveal, yeah? Yeah, but which pickup? The green and black one, the funky one that we got done up. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right, I'll see you there. And just look how our extension's coming on. It's actually starting to feel like a real house. I genuinely don't know if this will look like much to you guys at all. It may look like it's huge, it may look like it's tiny, but to us, this is our absolute dream home. And if you knew where I'd come from over the past few years, you'd know just how much I appreciate it. All right, time for you to see the beast. Right boys, bring it out. Seriously, you said the green and black one. That went well. Anyway, what I meant was this. Look at that beast. <laughs> so I'll be honest, somebody was making fun of me for having a plain, white, boring pickup. And I'm obviously not gonna Morris name any names, Flanagan, but you know who you are if you're watching this. So yeah, we got it wrapped by a company called Shore Wraps. This is not, 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 not an advert. They're just lovely guys. Little small company in Glasgow, but look at the job they did. Anyway, it's wrapped and it looks amazing. Craigie Boy went and picked it up for me. And for some reason he thought it was hilarious. I don't think it's funny, I think it's cool. People have different opinions. Here's TV Key's box. <laughs> coffee mug, coffee mug, coffee mug, coffee mug. Yes. Loads of hats. Nice. Oh. How nice is that? Hat, hoodies. KDK, you are awesome. Dorty in particular. And what was you that sent me this? Thank you. Oh, these aren't nice. What did KVK send you? Nothing. And away we go on our maiden voyage with the new library that is. It's only around a mile and a half to drive to this farm and it sits on this stunning Wigtown estuary. Things are being improved right now, so please mind the rubble. And just like that, we are here. Craigie Boy and Kev are opening the gates for me and all we've got to do is get into position and get trimming. I maybe make it look like I'm fantastic at backing up or reversing in, but really, it's trial and error. We've been to most of these farms multiple times, so now we know the best course of action. This is an organic farm, and it's one that we come to about every four weeks or so. Although, because of holidays and all that kind of stuff, we've not been here in six weeks. So unfortunately, Jack, the dairyman, has had to look after them himself. But 
he's taken the Graham Parker Hoof GP online trimming course. So he's actually pretty good at trimming it anyway, to be honest. Shameless plug, you can get that trimming course and an amazing, a truly amazing starter kit completely free from Bovi Bond when you sign up for the course. I've done videos on it before, it is truly awesome. It's completely packed full of knives and blocks and glue and glue guns and all that. The link for the course is at the top of the description underneath this video. Anyway, here's our little ladies, all waiting nice and patiently for us. And we've got a really nice big long race at this farm, which helps massively. If you've ever worked with cows before, you'll know they really like to follow each other. So the longer the race you've got, the easier they are to load, to be honest, because they think, ha ha, this is the way out. So there are 27 cows here to do, and we have got 18 in the race. Ideal. Every day will bring me something new. It's really good now that Craig's been with us for so long because I can take the pickup out or do whatever. I was just talking to one of the farm workers there about something and Craig is cracking on, which is awesome. We've come to this farm now for years and there's very, very little wrong with their feet. They actually did have a problem with digital dermatitis, but since they got a new foot bath from Hoof Count, that has been completely knocked on the head. So, as you're just about to see, the feet on this farm are fantastic. This is the very definition of routine foot trimming, and it's something we absolutely love. Sometimes we really don't need much. These cows have a full organic status. That means that the farmer has to stick to a rigid set of rules laid out by the organic society. And these cows live outside for the vast majority of the year, which is why their feet are so good. When you put cows outside, it's not simply a matter of letting them run wherever they like. You have to manage the grass and you have to do it extremely well. The fields are usually connected to the steading or the farmyard via cow tracks. These are man-made paths that are ideal for cows' feet and usually, or at least hopefully, there are very few sharp or loose rocks. And sometimes they even add astroturf to the matter to make it soft, kind and gentle on the cow's feet. And sometimes they need quite a lot of work done to our feet that is. You see, cows are just like humans. They're all different. It would be boring if they're all the same. And because they're all different, they all wear their feet in different ways. They all grow their feet in different ways. And they all suffer from different ailments, just like you and I. That's why some cows are fantastically well footed and they're suited to the lifestyles they lead. But then some cows like this grow an excess amount of hoof horn and that is why we need to intervene and make sure their feet are nice and balanced and healthy so that nothing goes wrong. The back right foot often mirrors the back left foot and in this case it does exactly that. Trimming in the way we do, we can and regularly do completely eradicate bruising and ulceration to cow's feet. So it can be done. What we can't do is eliminate white line problems. These are problems brought about by the environment in which cows sometimes live. Sometimes they may get problems because of their nutrition and sometimes they'll pick up injuries fighting, tussling and pushing with their comrades in arms. The other cows in the herd. This doesn't look 
look that pretty. But if pretty was what we're after, neither Craig nor Kevin would be working with us. We're after functionality. No offence. What do you mean? Nothing. Right, no offence folks. Yes, 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 I like speaking to you in California, sitting on your, on your sofa, couch, drinking your coffee, and you in Australia, yes, you as well, I like speaking to you, but I have cows to trim, so we're gonna chuck you over there and get on with my job. And just like that, we're on the longest of the lot, I think. So far we've done 15 or 16 cows, no blocks, no real issues. Things are good. Things like that, however, need fixed. And that's our main job. Cats, deer, pigs, rhinos, elephants, giraffes, they all have toenails made of keratin, just like you and I. And they all wear them down in different ways. Also, just like you and I. Cows like this just happen not to wear them down all that much. But our intervention does exactly that for them. We're manufacturing wear. And as we said earlier, these feet often mirror each other. So let's see if the same rings true for this cow. Et voila! The problem isn't the fact that it's longer. It's the fact that it being longer means that this foot is pushed up the way. You see, this foot here is taking much, 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 much more pressure than this foot here. In fact, there's probably around 80% of the cow's weight on this digit, when it should be 50-50 between the two claws, and that is what is important. It's not how pretty or how beautiful these feet look. It is, it really is. It's about functionality. It's about making sure these cows are as comfortable as possible, and sometimes I cringe saying that, but it's true. It's about making sure that they're as comfortable as possible so that they're profitable for the farmer. Because let's not kid ourselves. These are part of a business. They're animals, they're beautiful animals, and I love them, and I want them to be as comfortable as they possibly can be all of the time, but they are part of a business, and the way to make them a six and the way to make them a successful part of that business is by making sure their feet are in tip-top condition. So you can see here clearly, I'm shaving down the heel of that outside claw because that heel is the problem part. That's the part that's hitting the ground first and it's the part that's taking too much of the cow's weight and that is causing sole ulceration, sole bruising, all of those horrible problems. If you look at the inside claw, I've avoided the heel as much as possible because just think about it. If I take a bit off the nice heel, the one that's too low already, then I'm just gonna have to take even more off the other claw to get them level, aren't I? So we avoid this heel because if we take some off here, we have to take even more from here. As it is, this is looking good, apart from the model. Smooth like butter, I'm a criminal undercover. Sorry folks. And modelling out takes even more pressure away from this pedal bone look. That has gone slightly flexible, but in there, it doesn't matter because all of the weight is around here. Done! I'm quite tired. But luckily, we're now onto the last cow of the day. If you think you're having a bad day at work, just remember this cow. She was standing in a queue, minding her own business, and her work colleague in her head. That's a bad day. If you guys ever need somewhere seriously good to just think and contemplate life, I can highly suggest taking up hoof trimming. It's where I do almost all of my deep thinking. Thought of 
Just like that, the last cow of the day is done. And off she walks back to her herdmates in the green, green grass of home. And off we go back to our beautiful wives and families here in South West Scotland. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>